Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about the artifacts. It's already a ending of the season sub 2. Soon I'm going to get to the season of Stripe, so it's time to decide which artifacts are S plus tier, which are S, A, B, and D, in order for us to understand what's the most important artifact to get or level up at the start of the next season. So you will be ready for the future wars and you will be ready for uh, for you to get a lot of Marys during the battles. Here we have S plus tier. S plus tier means that for every single Legion type, at least one S plus tier artifact, which will be better than any of them, which is left to S, A, B, C, D, F, right? So let's uh, get it on. Let's start with the S plus tier first artifact. And in my opinion, as the season of uh, Sob 2 was a uh, simply Archer main uh, season, we have to put uh, uh, Gilded Crossbow on a S plus tier. Simply because Magroth and Zyda have been one of the most popular and most powerful Legion type and hero pair in the game. And for the Magroth and Zyda, Galded Crossbow is the most important artifact. This ability about HP bypassing is so good that it deals a huge amount of damage. And also it can actually deal like physical damage factor right to three legions and what's most important uh increases your legions enemy hp bypass by up to seven percent that's a huge amount of number because in general i think hp buffs are the best buffs in the game and whenever you can bypass the hp of the enemy legion you will be dealing a lot of damage of course we should not forget about infernal flames simply because infernal flame and the lilia still is the most popular mage a hero in the game if you want to get merits especially if you are a tier 5 player you have to have awakened lilia with the infernal flame this synergy is so perfect that even right now it's like the most used and most popular artifact and hero pair combination which will give you a lot of merits during the battlefield especially if you are a tier 5 player but we can actually say about that with many different things in the game right in terms of cavalry i still think that most important and most perfect arf artifact for cavalry players is spring blades um i think with the spring blades you can get a maximum amount of merits rather than any other artifact for the cavalry hero pairs so far we are we know that in season of stripe we are getting new calves artifacts but until season sub 2 right that's where we are right now so i think it's a pure merit farmer artifact especially for emery zero pairs but i think in general you are dealing absolutely amazing amount of damage to the enemies if most importantly if enemy is grouped up in like small area at least like three to five legions you will be having a lot of merits by the spring blades so if you're a cavalry player you pretty pretty much have to have spring blades in your arsenal one more mage artifact which i have said it before yeah i already have infernal frame here but uh, one mage artifact is so good that i have to put it on the s tier because that's just so good so much damage like pure damage for the target whom you are hitting to the nearby enemies my resorb even after the nerfs and after the changes are still great artifact uh, it's kind of on the same tier as infernal flame in my opinion uh, simply because at first my resorb came out for the bertrand but i think you can use my resorb with uh, almost every single uh, mage hero pair uh, besides Lilia because Lilia and Infernal Flame is synergy is just too perfect. So I'm putting my Rajorb on S plus tier because that's simply how good it is. For the infantry, in my opinion, there is like a couple of infantry artifacts which is really good and we already know that we have offensive infantry artifacts and defensive ones, right? In my opinion, um, between two of them, I prefer to have infantry defensive artifacts because you it's just making your legions 10 times more tankier and that's i think that's the whole idea behind infantry in this game 
For that, I would put uh, Spirit Bone Torque. This artifact for Goresh and Skull Ghoul is simply perfect. Uh, the effect that you can taunt five enemy legions with this artifact is simply amazing. Uh, and as I have said it in many live streams, without infantry players, every single push and defense would be impossible in Call of Dragons. That's why, uh, then that's how I think infantry is so important in this game. I think this should be like the main uh, five artifacts, which I think is S plus tier, and I will I will add one more artifact for the flying unit Thea, of course, which is Visage of the Sanctums. It's just perfect artifact for Thea. Uh, in terms of other ones, I can simply put. Uh, as Visage of the Sanctum to S tier because I think this artifact is specifically good for the Thea and mainly in the S plus tier I have some artifacts which you can actually use with the many different uh, hero pairs in the game. I think this should be like the S plus tier artifacts uh, for almost every single uh, Legion type um, which we have currently in the game. So slowly we're gonna uh, finalize the artifacts and uh, move away, move through the different ranks of S, A and B, right? Let's continue with the S tier. Uh, for the S tier, I think there will be like artifacts which are specialized for like significant hero pair or hero, uh, which is quite viable even right now, right? And for that, of course, we have to mention uh, Rattle Spear. Rattle Spear is amazing with Kinara, and Kinara has a couple of usages, right? Nico and Kinara, you will be using Rattle Spear. Uh, Hosk and Kinara, Hosk primary because of the precision talent, you're gonna be using Rattle Spear. Um, Kinara and Indies, you will be using some Rattle Spear. That's why I think Rattle Spear is in general good. Uh, there is only one big minus whenever you will be using the skill of the Rattle Spear. Your Legion have to stood still until you will finish casting. That's the only bad thing which I don't like regarding um, Rattle Spear in our case. One more Archer artifact which I think is S tier is Gold Crest for Syndrome and Freyguard. Doesn't really matter, like, of course, especially for Sin Fry, but in general I think this artifact is dealing a huge amount of damage, which I like it a lot, right? And if we have uh, Rattle Spear on S tier, we have to have uh, Gold Crest somewhere near. I think um, Dragon Armor, um, if I'm not mistaking the name, uh, Dragon Scale Armor is a great, great artifact. As I sa have said before, I like this artifact so much that I'm even thinking of putting it on a S plus tier because um, Legion HP in general, I think, is amazing stat in Call of Dragon. Uh, Dragons, I think, is the best stat which you can actually get for your uh, Legion. Doesn't really matter which kind of Legion, but still, I think it's much better than a attack much better than defense and I, I highly prefer to use um, HP bonuses on my legions whenever I'm trying to fight around the battlefield. Um, and of course um, uh, this stun artifact, artifact Greymare's Hammer, it's like semi-offensive, uh, uh, semi semi-defensive, it has a defensive stats but uh, the skill of the uh, Greymare's Warhammer is Ground Pound which is dealing damage 1600 so it's more of a offensive artifact for the infantry but in terms of offensive ones i think this one should be the best one if we're gonna compare it to the other offensive artifacts we can generally move to the another tier which should be like pretty easy to understand what will be uh, we're gonna put phoenix uh, eye simply because there's the best artifact which you can get from the normal keys um on with by simply playing the game and um collecting keys organically uh like normal player right and without spending any money that's why i think now phoenix in, in terms of full strength is the best free to play artifact for mages uh same thing i can say about shadow blades that the best free to play um, ar archer artifact which you can get from the universal keys by just simply playing the game uh, also, I really like Viola's Bow, I understand it's an archer artifact, but it has HP uh, attributes, but the skill which Viola's Bow has is I like it a lot, that's why I'm going to put uh, Viola's Bow on A tier, it deals a lot of damage to 5 enemy legions, um, physical damage factor is 1600, 
and also enemies can't really hit um, artifacts whenever you are going to use your wireless bow i like the attributes i like the damage on the skill that's why i think it's pretty useful artifact in terms of fighting that's why i'm going to put a wireless bow here in terms of cavalry artifact for a tier king slayer i think uh, for a free to play players that's the best cavalry offensive artifact which you can get from the normal keys and uh, i think that's really understandable why i'm going to put king slayer rather than anything else which is left for the cavalry players right of course we're gonna continue with the infantry artifact for eight year and as i have said it before i prefer defensive stats uh, on the infantry artifact that's why i think uh we are going to put uh, this defensive all around the artifact which i'm using on my garwood and i like it a lot uh fango fashkari defensive stats and uh for the infantry legion if you don't have anything else better in terms of defensive one i think um Sander shadow should be totally fine uh with the fango pashkari until you're gonna get better ones and the better ones are of course uh dragon scale armor spirit bone torque that's the best uh, uh defensive infantry artifacts uh, currently in the game on a bit here i'm going to put tier of arbon um, i'm going to put heart of kamasi i think that's the one of the best uh, mage and archer defensive versatility artifacts which we are having in the game uh and i'm going to put uh, uh, I always forget the name about this artifact, but we can always check inside the game. Uh, that's the artifact called um, Breath of the Jagantis. Um, that's like a offensive artifact, but in terms like in terms of skill, that's a support type of artifact. That's why I think uh, the best one is Jagantis. After that, it should be Tier of Arbon, and then it should be Heart of Kamasi. Uh, if you are if you understood the gameplay of Call of Dragons, you understand that. As a free-to-play player, we have to uh, choose your legion type and progress with one legion type. So if you're archer player, I'm pretty sure you are using Heart of Kamasi. If you are mage player, you are using Jagantis or Tier of Arbon uh, for sure. The prophet of the uh, the prophet uh, artifact, which you can actually teleport around the battlefield, have been so fun that I'm actually going to put this on a B tier because it's have been used uh, for a long, long time already. Um, that should be like B tier, more supportive styles. I like the supportive artifacts pretty much, and that's why I'm I'm putting them on a B tier, right? For the C tier, I'm going to put Shorlands Blade because Shorlands Blade is way worse than Spring Wardens, uh, way worse than Kingslayers, and way worse than these artifacts. That's why I think Shorlands Blade on a C tier should be fine. And of course, I missed uh, the Blink artifact for a uh, uh, cavalry. Uh, hero pairs um, for the B tier because that's actually pretty useful in general. Um, I don't really like Spring of Silence and Dragon Rift uh, as an infantry artifact because it's too much offensive and if you are going to put uh, these two on your infantry art infantry hero pairs, your infantry is going to die really really soon. The mobility artifact uh, Spring World Feather for the um, cavalry players, I'm not really sure how good it is but um, I don't like it mainly because I prefer attack bonuses on cavalry units and I prefer more versatility. The foreign deals artifact, I don't rate it unfortunately, maybe I'm wrong, you guys may might know better, but I don't like clone skill on this artifact and I think there is like much better one in terms of spring blades and I think even if you are playing as the foreign deal, you will pr prefer to have spring blades to get more merits rather than having a clone of your hero pair and fighting with you with the 15% of the strengths, right? Um, I think this should be the C tier currently in the game. Um, I, like, pr preferably, like, I understand you might put Spring of Silence and Dragon Rift on a different tier, but that's my personal view. I prefer defensive artifacts on my infantry hero pairs, right? On the D tier, I'm going to put uh, all the Garrison and Rally artifacts with the uh, uh, Holer and with Kurata Swrath. I hate this artifact because I have been getting this uh, Kurata Swrath um, every season, like at least 10 times per season uh, from the normal pools and from the uh, chest which you are opening on the map, right? And after that, the gathering artifacts. Now, that should be the idea behind the artifacts, in my opinion, in season sub 2. 
Um, of course, S plus tier is my resorb, spring, uh, spring blades, uh, guided crossbow, um, infernal frame, spirit bone, torque, and dragon scale armor. I think these are the best artifacts so far currently in the game, and um, like there, they might be like small margins be between the tiers. Uh, but I think if you asked me, um, like in uh, two weeks um, before, which are the S plus tier artifacts, I would have said it before this one too because. It's been the best one until the season sub two. Of course, whenever season of stripe will be here, uh, this might get changed because the new artifacts are on on the way. We are going to see them uh, pretty fast, pretty soon, and uh, of course, tier list will be changing uh, with the new artifacts coming into the game. Right? I think in general, if you are free to play player, try to understand. I have mentioned uh, that free to play friendly artifacts are mainly on A tier. And you have to get lucky on a to get S and S plus tier artifacts uh, in the game. Um, so if this video is helpful for you guys, if you understand more regarding artifacts than before, as always, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game. I hope everybody was having amazing day, morning or night. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye bye and good luck.